It's finally here. I am so excited because it is holiday baking season and this is probably my favorite season to do all the baking. So today I'm going to start us off with something very simple and I'm going to take these amazing pretzel chips, which this is my first time having them and they are amazing. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going to turn these in to some Christmas crack. So I'm sure most of you have heard of Christmas crack or have received it. It is um, crackers or like these pretzel chips that have a hard toffee on top and then chocolate and then sprinkles or sea salt. Amazing. I was gifted this one year and I have been loving it every year since and now I'm going to make it. So let's get baking and I'm going to show you how to make Christmas crack. The first thing I'm going to do is put parchment paper on my baking sheet. I'm going to spray a little bit of Pam on top of the baking sheet so that the parchment paper will kind of stick to it. And then I'm also going to put some Pam on the parchment paper itself so that when I pour the toffee on top, it's not going to stick. So I am using pretzel crisps and I'm just going to lay them all out slightly overlapping. and. I really should have put these all salty side down and I didn't, but I did go back and change it later. So lay them all out on your pan. Um, you could also just dump them on and kind of move them into a single layer if you want, but this way I am making sure that they're evenly coated. So once I have them all laid out, I am going to just set my pan aside and we're going to go make the toffee part. Over low heat, I am gonna melt one cup of butter and one cup of packed brown sugar together. And I'm just gonna let it all melt together and I'm gonna keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. And as soon as it starts to boil, I am setting a timer for three minutes. My husband's gonna mix the toffee for those three minutes for me while I go back and fix the pretzel crisps and flip them all salt side down. Okay, so now that that's done, I am letting it finish boiling and I keep checking the temperature because I'm curious to see what kind of um, temperature it reaches. It reached around 260, 265 roughly. So now that my three minutes are up, I'm removing it. Uh, I turn the heat off. I'm adding a little splash of vanilla. I'm going to give that a good mix. And now I'm ready to pour this over top of the pretzel chips. I feel like I need to work fairly quick with this because it hardens really fast and cools off really quickly. So as soon as I poured it all over, I grabbed an angled spatula or like a knife and I'm just spreading all the toffee around so that all of the pretzels get covered. Next, I'm gonna take this and pop it into the oven, which is preheated to 375, and I'm only gonna bake it for five minutes. Then I'm gonna turn off my oven and take it out. All right, so my five minutes are up. I've removed it from the oven, I turned it off. Now I'm gonna add chocolate chips on top, one whole bag, and yes, I am using zero sugar for these. <laughs> It's because it's the only bag of chocolate chips I had in my cupboard. So I'm going to take the whole bag, sprinkle it over top, and let it melt. Now this does not melt fast enough for me, so I'm just going to pop it back into the oven. It's turned off. Remember, I turned it off, but it's still hot. And I'm only going to put it in for maybe 10 to 20 seconds just for the chocolate to start melting and make it spreadable. So once you pop it in the oven and let it melt, remove it, take that spatula, that knife that you were using, and you're gonna smooth the chocolate out over top of all your pretzels and your toffee. Before this cools, you wanna get your toppings on it while your chocolate is still warm and melty so that it sticks. I'm using Christmas sprinkles on half of it and sea salt or coarse salt on the other half. Um, I've also seen this done with little Christmas M&Ms or you can do like some peanuts if you want more saltiness to it. 
Um, whatever you choose, uh, you could also drizzle white chocolate over it and make it look all fancy. So now that my toppings are put on, it's ready to just sit in the fridge for a couple hours and completely cool. Usually two or three hours. You want to make sure that toffee and the chocolate are nice and hard before you start cracking it into pieces. Alright, it's been a couple hours and I know my husband has been eyeing this up and waiting for me to break it into pieces so he can test it. So I'm going to remove it from the parchment paper and yes, it still did stick a little bit, but nothing, nothing bad at all. It peeled off. Anyway, you are now ready to crack this into all sorts of little pieces. Um, and then I'm going to put it in a tin and display it all pretty and festive for the pictures and just to have it on my counter so it looks really nice. And now we're ready to eat it too. So my husband will be happy. He can come and eat a bunch of it because I know he's been eyeing it up. <laughs> so we're going to go and enjoy this and watch a Christmas movie or something. All right, you guys, we are all done now. Um, this turned out fantastic. And this is the only time it has ever turned out for me. Um, every other time I have attempted this, I have used saltine crackers, and I just found um, they kind of went soggy. I don't know, maybe I was doing something wrong, but it just didn't turn out when I used the crackers. So this time using the pretzel crisps, yes, crisps, not chips, whatever, they turned out way better. Love it because it keeps its crunchiness. The salt on the pretzels is a great contrast to all that toffee and chocolate and the sweetness. It just goes really well together. I can see why they call this Christmas crack because it is so addictive. Um, I am really glad that somebody had gifted it to me to try and now I can't stop eating it. <laughs> so it's also really nice because it does make a really nice gift so you can package it up into a nice little tin or some jars, however you'd like and it's a little homemade gift and it was so easy to do. So. Um, that's it for me today. Oh, and you know what? I am gonna post in somewhere here a little video of me actually like breaking this into pieces so that you can hear it cracking. It was, it's awesome. I love how crunchy this is. So I will give you a minute to listen to it cracking. I really hope you could hear that. I know it was kind of hard to hear, but anyway, it is there. It does crack, it crunches. Mmm, it's so delicious and addictive. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video today. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and the note. No, <clears throat> oh my gosh, let's try this again. Like button, subscribe, and the notification bell. And thank you for watching today. I'll see you for my next holiday baking video.